What is the charge? Smoking a cigarette? A succulent outdoor cigarette? Take your hands off my cigarette! This is Pub Culture Manifest. Rest in peace, my guy. I hope you're enjoying all the succulent Chinese meals in heaven. Anyway, now, now as we all know that two-tier comic here, Stalin Stasi Spazi Starmer, is not exactly... Um, how can I say this without getting demonetized? Intelligent. We'll just say that and leave it at that. He's not the brightest bulb, to say the very least. He's actually quite thick. Thicker than titanium or even vibranium brick walls. But anyway, so rather than dealing with some of the most severe problems up and down the UK, like mass immigration, again, all of the bamalians going around knifing people to death. No, we're not dealing with that. Okay, what about the collapsing economy, the cost of living crisis, crime as a whole? Nope, we're not dealing with that or any of the other major issues. No, we're going to focus on people who dare smoke a Rothmans Blue XL cigarette outside in the UK. Ooh, how dangerous and scary. Ooh. Oh god, honestly, this is why I say in all my videos, just carpet bomb the UK. It's the only solution at this point. So, there's no point really of diving deep into this, but of course I've got to make the 8 minute mark, so we're going to keep this at face value. So, we've got this. This is mental. According to The Sun, the government are planning on banning smoking from public gardens, outside football stadiums and nightclubs, on restaurant terraces and small parks. Again, those pesky, evil, white supremacist, far-right, EDL, Nazi bigots, homophobic, you know, Islamic phobic, Terrace restaurant terrace smokers. I am losing the will to oxygenate making these videos. I honestly am. Again, the UK, please just carpet bomb it. But again, the fact that we've got a plethora of problems going up and down the UK, and again, two tier comedy or Stalin Stasi Spazi Starmer has decided that this is what's going to be on his primary focus are those evil people smoking cigarettes or vapes out in public, really just showed you that that man should not be trusted with a sport. Never mind running what is arguably still at this point one of the most powerful countries on the planet. Although I think we lost that title years ago. Now, I've got a video here from Nigel Farage and I think he makes an absolute fair point right here. Let me just read it out real quick. <clears throat> New, Reform UK leader Nigel Farage MP on a mooted ban on smoking in pub gardens. This is what I do every day and the Prime Minister wants to criminalise me. So let's play the video and see what he has to say. I mean, this is what I do yeah. every day, and, and the prime minister wants to criminalise me. And the danger of it is that they did this in—they did this in Australia. They made smoking almost impossible. They tax cigarettes to the extent where they're now thirty-five pounds a packet. So the criminal gangs now don't bother with cocaine. Forget that; cocaine's boring. Cigarettes are very exciting, and so they run the whole tobacco industry. Um, shops everywhere sell cigarettes under the counter, hairdressers sell them, uh, news agents sell them. Um, and you've now got gang warfare. There have been 97 firebombing arson attacks in Melbourne alone in the last two years. So if you take a legal activity and you effectively criminalise it, you hand it into the, literally into the hands of the bad guys. I wonder whether the Labour Party have thought that through, or frankly thought anything through. I bet they haven't. I absolutely, I absolutely agree with Nigel Farage on this one. Again, whenever you criminalise something to make something that was previously legal illegal, you're just creating a void, and that void always gets filled with a black market with criminality. Again, you ban all cigarettes; they'll just be on mass illegally imported from other countries, probably Spain, if I had to take a wild guess as well. And again, they'll just bump the price up to basically a pound a cigarette as well, and. Again, there's already places up and down the UK that you can just walk in and buy, you know, let's say 20 grams of rolling tobacco for only 5 or £10, pounds, which is so much cheaper than what the UK is charging with all of the unfathomable tax on top of it as well. These things are already possible. Again, look at prohibition during the American times. They tried to ban all alcohol for about 10 years. That led to unfathomable gangster warfare for that decade and it killed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people and it didn't stop anyone from drinking, it just created an unfathomable wave of moonshine and bathtub wine or toilet wine or whatever you like to call it, which also birthed the speakeasy 
illegal drinking dens up and down America as well. And I then created that market. All the gangsters move in to take over it, which caused massive, massive gun conflict between the rival factions of gangsters who were running in said location within said state as well. It did not work. Again, to go off topic very slightly as well, here in Scotland, they're planning, and also not planning, they are banning fireworks in Edinburgh because they might be dangerous. Yeah, there, there goes your plans this um, 5th of November or Die Fault or whatever you like to call it, Bonfire Night. Yeah, you can't buy fireworks in Edinburgh anymore. By the way, I called that over a year ago, I think in one of my tweets, that due to the Palestine rioters during the 5th of November last year, and at the same time, a couple of Sports Direct mannequins that were running around in Edinburgh firing fireworks into police officers' faces, that they'll, gun they'll start gunning for fireworks, and it looks like they... The government of Scotland and Edinburgh are starting to go down that path and I guarantee after the 6th of November and onwards after that, there's going to be massive talk about the widespread banning of fireworks. Now, a lot of people's argument on Twitter about banning smoking as a whole is beyond stupid. And the number one I the number one thing I hear, and when I counter this, this makes them go into a blind rage because they have no comeback, and that is we should ban smoking because it clogs the NHS. So does obesity. Shall we ban food? And that's when they start stretching at me because they don't have a comeback anymore as well. Also, speaking about banning food, I think that will definitely become a possibility here in the UK. I mean, we are living in a communist dystopian nightmare and food and communism does not go hand in hand. The only positive thing I have to say about communism is it is the most effective, it is the most effective weight loss program in human history. That's about it as well. But again, People who drink too much clog up the NHS. People who smoke clog up the NHS. People that are constantly fighting clog up the NHS. People who are constantly getting piercings and tattoos and getting infected are clogging up the NHS. And then people who drink and eat too much with causing obesity clog up the NHS. Everyone's guilty in one way or another of clogging up the NHS due to their stupidity, due to poor choices. It's not something that you can eradicate. Everyone does it a little a bit too much drinking, a bit too much smoking, a bit too much gambling, a bit too much eating, a bit too much fighting, again, too much body modifications, too much of doing this and that. But everyone clogs up everything. Again, if we're going down that path, we should ban food and alcohol and everything else in between. But again, that is stupid logic. Now, I've already made a video about this in the past, um, talking about when the UK announced, back when it was still Tory leadership, this was a few months ago, about the whole banning of electric, the, you know, the whole ban of vapes up and down the UK, which I find stupid because I believe it's 100% your choice to be as destructive as possible within your life. Again, I don't agree with people, you know, chain smoking. I don't agree with people just having a drinking problem. I don't agree with people having a gambling problem and, you know, so on and so forth. It's really stupid, but again, it's either complete government, uh, government control over individuals, which therefore makes people of said country the property of the government or allow people to do stupid things to themselves no matter the outcome and it only affects them. I prefer the lesser of two evils in my honest opinion as well but again they're planning on doing that, they're going to end up banning cigarettes as well and if any of you notice anything about the government it doesn't just stop there, they will outright ban cigarettes as well, they will outright ban alcohol, they will outright ban fireworks, they will ban everything and that's what these lefties want at the end of the day, they don't want you to have any level of fun no cheat day, no just sit back relax, not worrying about anything. Again, any little 0 0.00001% of the population misuses something, the other 99.999999% of the people who do use this or have this and actually are law-abiding citizens must have that right taken away from them as well. And it's just led to this absolute depressing era in the UK where you can't even go outside without a license. Oh, you mate, do you have a license to leave your front door, mate? Oh, do you have a license? Show me your license. And that's definitely the, where we're going to right now. I'm going to wrap the video up by saying this. I think your ideal little lefty, well, I say ideal, but, you know, your little kind of gay retarded communist really wants this to say the very least. They want to be in their house because they don't have a license to go outside because they can't afford to do so. Again, they want to be sitting on their pile of bricks in the living room because, again, they don't have a license to, uh, to own any furniture inside their house. And again, they'll look at the wall with a painting on it because, again, they don't have a license to own a TV. Haha, <laughs> the BBC. 
and again they do not have the heating on in their house but again because they don't have a, a license for gas or electricity by the way they're separate you have to have a license for gas and you've got to have a license for electricity as well they don't have a license for that in any way shape or form again they look outside and all the trees don't have leaves even though it's summertime why none of the trees applied for their license to own leaves on their own property so the trees don't have leaves they also look outside it's 2 p.m during the summertime and it's pitch black why because the sun got cut off from the uk because it didn't pay its sun license as well and while they're looking at the last meal that, they've, that they can scrape up together, which is a bag of rotten soup meat, because again, owning metal, you need a license to own metal in your house. And as they strip it out with their bare hands, again, because owning cutlery is illegal because you might stab someone with a titanium spork. Again, so they've got to strip it up with their hands, and as they're slobbering it up in their cold, freezing, brick-filled living room, with absolutely no fun, no joy, no light, no electricity, no entertainment whatsoever, they'll finally look back outside and think to themselves, this is perfect. I'm so glad that I gave up all my freedoms, all my human rights, so I can finally feel safe. And just as they say that, they get stabbed by a Somalian to death who busted into the house. But anyway, I'll wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. If you could like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, again, that would be awesome. Again, the explosive um, growth in this channel, again, it's really appreciated. I do love all of you as well. Again, leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything that I've said or you think I've missed anything of key importance. And within the pinned top comment will be links to my Twitter and my Discord as well if you want to join that. And again, please go check out my other videos. They've been doing very well here as well. Again, thank you so much for the support. I love you all, and as always, keep on rolling. Have a great day and a better week to follow. Bye!